Hello and welcome again to Not Fake News. Got a couple of sto uh, news breaking stories right now by Paris Swade out of Liberty Writers. Unbelievable what this man came out and said on Fox News proves Trump was right about everything. This official just came out and said that voter fraud that could have swayed the Senate race in Kansas. His name is Chris Kobach. On Mon and on Monday, he said that 6,000 people registered to vote in the state of New Hampshire using out-of-state IDs. This is huge because the Senate race in New Hampshire was won by only 1,017 vote margin. Registering to vote in another state is not a crime, but voting in another state is a crime. New Hampshire is a same-day registration state, and on Election Day, November 8, 2016, 6,000 people registered in New Hampshire using an out-of-state driver's license as their form of identification, Kobach said. And of course, CNN tried to discredit Kobach right away. Look at what he tweeted in the interview. While he was in the interview, the image shows proof of CNN bias. They run text below my picture claiming my statements are false. So much for letting the viewer decide. Trump aide repeats false claim of voter fraud. Wow. What a piece of dung these people are. I'm going to show you the video in a second, but we need to get this information out. This means that there is proof now that voter fraud does exist. The media is not going to want to let this get out. Share this everywhere. We cannot let the mainstream media cover this one up. If it's true that there is voter fraud, that means that Trump was right the whole time and the media has been doing nothing but lying. Let's hear what Mr. Kobach says. Three to five million illegal votes. That is what the president says cost him the popular vote in November. As of yet, no evidence, though, has been offered to back that up. But they're now going even further, saying thousands of illegal voters in New Hampshire alone cost the president an election victory there. In a meeting with Democratic lawmakers just last week, just last week, Donald Trump pushed that very same point and, I'm sorry, controller what? I'm sorry, I'm just getting some controller room issue. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, she's all flustered, not liking the, uh, she's not liking this at all, the fact that there's, you know, voter fraud. This narrative is not good for CNN. In a meeting with Democratic lawmakers just last week, the president claimed that voters were actually bussed in from New Hampshire to, from Massachusetts to New Hampshire to vote illegally. Where is the evidence there? The president's senior policy advisor, Stephen Miller, didn't offer any of that up when he took the cameras over the weekend, but did have this to say. And many, many highly qualified people, like Chris Kobach, the Kansas Secretary of State, have looked deeply into this issue and have confirmed it to be true and have put together evidence. And I suggest you invite Chris Kobach onto your show and he can walk you through some of the evidence of voter fraud you have, you have, in greater detail. I... All right, so joining me now to discuss is the Kansas Secretary of State, Chris Kobach, who's um, who was cited right there by Stephen Miller. So, Mr. Secretary, it's great to have you. Thanks so much for coming in. Stephen Miller says anyone who works in New Hampshire knows that this happened, except every big name Republican there, Republicans I'm speaking to, say that it did not happen. Miller says, look to you, sir, for the evidence. Where is it? Okay, well, I just got off the phone with the New Hampshire Secretary of State, Bill Gardner, and he said this. So, as you know, New Hampshire is a same-day registration state, and on Election Day, uh, November 8, 2016, 6,000 people registered in New Hampshire using an out-of-state driver's license as their form of identification. Of those 6,000, over 6,000, uh, just under 3,000, so just under half, used a Massachusetts driver's license. Now, some of those are going to be legit. They're going to be people who just moved to New Hampshire and hadn't yet got a New Hampshire driver's license. But many of those will be out-of-state residents who voted in the state. And then we will have more information at the end of this month because New Hampshire just joined a 30-state program where we compare data across states. And Kansas is the host of that program. And we will see how many people voted in both New Hampshire and in another state among the, 30, of the 29 other states. So, you, you, so we'll you know truly exactly believe, what that You truly do believe that thousands of people came in from Massachusetts <clears throat> to vote in New, Ham in New Hampshire on Election Day. 
for Hillary Clinton, and it was, uh, and she was told, and they were told to do it, and paid to do it, and told if they don't, they'll be deported. That's probably what they were being told. What I know from the New Hampshire Secretary of State's office is just under 3,000 registered on Election Day with a Massachusetts well, driver's license. 6, what I'm saying is... I just did a video today with the guy that she had on three seconds ago, that guy with the black hair. I had a video, I have a video done with him today saying that there is people being bussed in and everyone in his town who's any, you know, in the, in the political... Who in the political arena knows that there's voter fraud. Everyone in his town knows it. He's, he even said, he's like, everyone knows it. The fact that you're not saying that there is is straight up fake news. 6,000 from some other state's driver's license. Of those 6,000, just under 3,000 were New Hampshire, uh, were, were Massachusetts. And so we do know that a lot of people did that, and we will have data at the end of the month. How many of those... That's a deadly threat to these people. They know they got to wait a month or two um, by the end of the month just to hear the terrible news of a lot of states doing it. 6,000 people reg voted in both New Hampshire and in one of the other states on election Robert, day. Mr. Secretary, data at the end of the this month, and you're problem. saying, no, no, but here, wait a second. Stephen Miller over the weekend, just yesterday, said that thousands did vote illegally. The, he said thousands and thousands did. They did. But the numbers will be in at the end of the month. Did vote illegally, definitively saying that this actually happened. You're saying that there's going to be more data coming at the end of the month. So you don't, do you have the evidence? Well, at the end of the month, New Hampshire just joined the program, by the way. So we will, this right, is so the first time Stephen we will be Miller looking speak at New Hampshire's term? numbers. No, because uh, what... Bill Gardner had already made public the fact that we had 6,000 people register in New Hampshire on election day with another state's driver's license. That See, that's the, the, the key clue there. So what uh, we don't but, know yeah, what but, percentage but of voter the 6,000 voted in two fraudulent states. Votes. Voter registration problems does not equal Correct. fraudulent votes. Sure. So, well, so let me, let's, let's step back and look at the big picture. So of the 30 states, we have about 3 million people who are registered in more than one state. And that's right, not a crime. That's just an administrative right, including bookkeeping. including the president's son-in-law, including the president's treasury secretary. Exactly. Yeah. And, and many of your viewers are probably registered in more than one state. But what is a crime is if you actually vote in both of those states or in more than two of states. Of course it's a crime. And but where year, is the thousand, evidence of this widespread, right, rampant, millions of people voting? If it had happened... Why, why haven't we seen it, Secretary? Well, it, you're about to, and not fake news is going to be right there to get you when it happens. It, well, actually, if you, maybe I don't know if your network has covered it, but in my state, uh, just people voting in Kansas and another state, my office prosecutes it. Well, I just got that prosecutorial authority a year and a half ago. We've already filed yeah, nine from the notes cases, that I saw, you and we have nine six guilty, guilty pleas. Right. Six guilty pleas, one right. dismissed, two and, and pending. That says January 25th. Nine yeah. cases does not rampant, right. widespread voter fraud make. And, and, the, and the nine cases are just the ones at the top of the list. We've got many more in the hopper. We have a very small office. We've only got about two attorneys working on these cases. So there will be more coming out. But my point is Kansas is a small state. And if you've got a significant number of double votes, fraudulent votes in Kansas, take a state that's very large, like <laughs> California or Texas, or take a state like New Hampshire, where people flood in every year because of the uh, very Mr. Secretary, I, I spoke with the former so much activity. I, I spoke with the former Attorney General, a man who's been in, in New Hampshire politics for decades. The way he described this when talking about people being bussed in from Massachusetts to New Hampshire to vote on Election Day, not based in reality, irresponsible. It's like the Yeti. You can keep. And why would you take? This man, excuse me, but this man that you know, who hasn't done any research, his word over this guy who's actively investigating this and finding proof. You have somebody, and you just said, uh, Senator, did you say Senator, or whatever you said, whoever this guy is, you said, the Senator... You know, where's your proof? And he's giving it to you right in your face. And you're not accepting it. Why? Why are you fighting so hard? Why did you, the owner of CNN tell you and the rest of your reporters to make sure you never agree and to fight 
uh, this voter fraud thing till the dying breath. Why? What is it that they have over you? Talking about it, but you're not going to find it. This is a Republican. Well, well, let's let's. So what? What do you think there are? Guilty shill in the closet Democrat Republicans that are paid off. What do you think? What do you world are you living in? Have you watched a Jason Bourne movie even once, or James Bond? Have you ever seen a spy movie once? Well, this is, but let's not... Act like it's outrageous to to think that this could happen, and and don't get me started. I've seen videos of women working at the polls, stuffing the ballot boxes with hundreds of fake voters, um, hundreds of ballots in one shot, like 300, coming out of her coat, looking around. I've seen this personally. Saying it's not real, you're lying. Focused on a red herring here. It doesn't matter whether the person from out of state is bussed in or if the person from out of state registered when they were working. Or if they flew in on a donkey there in February during the primaries and then votes by mail from Speaking their other state made a point of on election day in do with people being bussed in, Mr. Secretary. It can be both. It can non-New Hampshire residents. Can really? It's like someone could be bussed in and illegally vote and someone can do it from their house at the same time? Like, really? Look at her face. Really? Two things can happen in the world? can vote in New Hampshire either by being bussed in or driving in themselves or by voting by mail from their home state of Massachusetts or New York or wherever it is. Yeah, and we will know. have some hard, much harder numbers. Right, but you know the folks... At the end of the month. Ha ha ha. Folks in New Hampshire, Mr. Secretary, folks in New Hampshire also voted and elected a Republican governor in that very same election. How often is it that people who are going to sure. be brought in, no matter how what, to vote illegally are going to split a ticket? We, you know, one of the interesting things we found in prosecuting this crime in Kansas is that both Republicans and Democrats do it. It seems people realize that they are actually registered in two states, and some people, a small minority, but some people are tempted to go ahead and cast ballots in both states, and it's a bipartisan right. a problem. Small so small minority we don't know. Let's does say not we discover make millions and millions of widespread rampant illegal votes in this country. Well, again, in, in New Hampshire, we. But in New Hampshire, we have 6,000 prospective cases. We'll find out what percentage of those 6,000 are legit New Hampshire residents and what percentage six. are actually not New Hampshire residents. I appreciate it. I can't wait month. to and see and that evidence. You know, but 6, the margin was pretty, the margin was pretty narrow. And but again, 6,000 prospective cases. The margin was pretty narrow. It was only 1,000 votes. But what Stephen Miller and the president said well, over the weekend is this is exactly it, why they lost in New Hampshire. But, Not saying that these prospective cases, in, they in said close they race, were illegal votes. But as you know, in a close race, which we had in New Hampshire, 1,000 votes. Right, but you don't have the evidence race, yet, Mr. Secretary. Even if margin. this comes true in a month, you don't have the evidence yet. No. Can you acknowledge that? I just gave you the evidence from the New Hampshire. I gave you the evidence that is not conclusive from the New Hampshire Secretary. Is not confirmed. Sorry. And we'll know. I am recording. And we will know at the end of the month which percentage of those 6,000 are cases of people who do not actually reside in New Hampshire. Well, then let, let us continue this conversation in one month. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Mr. Secretary right. of State. Yes, and have a great month. I hope every second that goes by for you, Missy, feels like 10 years waiting for that proof to come. Because I'm going to splash your pretty blonde face all over YouTube. And, and with that guy smiling right there. See that smile? He knows. See your face? You know. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. And of course, CNN tried to discredit him right away. Look at what he tweeted, and I told you that before, and we read all of this. If this is true, the voter fraud, this means that Trump was right the whole time, and that media has been doing this nothing but lying, which is what we know they do. And guess what? They're fake news. Next story from Danny Gold, Liberty Writers. Breaking Putin just did something to Trump huge about... Wait, wait, wait. See how they wrote it? Putin just to Trump something huge about Mike Flint that liberals can't stand. Okay. He just said, I know what happened here. He said something, uh, he did a, a an interview, and uh, it's all good for Trump. It's all it's a good interview. Let's go with it. 
Liberals have been working around the clock to try to screw over President Trump and force him to fire Mike Flynn as National Security Advisor. Not going to happen. Sorry, Democrats with the R-A-T capital. They have been claiming that Flynn has been an unsanctioned call to the Kremlin before Inauguration Day to discuss dropping the Russian sanctions when Trump took office. Put Putin says, not so fast. Today at the Kremlin, he announced Flynn never discussed the sanctions with Russia ambassador during their phone call. That was a lie. We've already said that. There hasn't been any such talks, Putin said. Wow. But if that's the case, then that means that the phone, the, that the phone call was 100% legit and that there is zero conflicts of interest. No wonder the liberals don't want anyone seeing the Russian report. This is going to throw a big wrench in the plans of the people like Nancy Pelosi, who asked, who has staked her entire career on Trump being a Russian plant or some nonsense like that. Poor Nancy. And I'd also like to congratulate Mr. Donald Trump with his victory in these elections. We have heard his electoral slogans when he was still a candidate for the president. And he spoke about resuming and restoring relations between Russia and the United States. Мы понимаем и отдаем себе отчет в том, что это будет непростой путь с учетом той деградации, в которых, в которой, к сожалению, находятся отношения между США и Россией. We understand that the way to that would be difficult, if taking into account the current state of degradation of relations between the U.S. and Russia. И это, как я уже многократно говорил, не наша вина, что российско-американские отношения находятся именно в таком состоянии. And as I have repeatedly said, that it's not our fault that the Russian-American relations are in that poor state. Но Россия готова и хочет восстановления полноформатных отношений с Соединенными Штатами. But Russia is ready and wants to restore the full-fledged relations with the United States. Повторяю, исходим из того, что это будет непростой путь, но мы готовы пройти и свою часть. I repeat, we understand that this will be a difficult way, but we are ready to play our part in it. И сделать все, чтобы вернуть российско-американские отношения на устойчивую траекторию развития. And do everything to return the Russian-American relations to the stable and sustainable development track. Это пошло бы на пользу как российскому, так и американскому народам. This would serve the well-being of both Russian and American peoples. И позитивно сказалось бы на общем климате в мировых делах, учитывая особую ответственность России и США за поддержание глобальной стабильности и безопасности. They're in such denial over the loss that they have literally become a party of conspiracy theorists. It's just sad. Anyway, let's help Trump get this shared to all of his supporters on Facebook and everywhere else, since we know the mainstream media will do their best to bury this. Comment below. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already subscribed. And if you want to get updates, you hit the bell next to the subscribe button to get the uh, breaking news stories before your friends get them. And if you like what we're doing here at Not Fake News, please like this video. It's very important and we really appreciate it. Thank you so much and I will see you next time at Not Fake News. Ooh, ooh, ooh.